Today we're to be testing my submarine to its absolute limits by spawning tsunamis, whirlpools, and more. Let's get started. So to start this thing's nuclear reactor, yes, nuclear. So this hopefully doesn't go into nuclear meltdown today. We just click those buttons and there we go. It's already started. So let's activate some systems here while the reactor is actually spooling up. So we have to wait for that number right there to reach 3000 before we actually start driving. But while we're waiting for that to happen, why don't we actually give a little bit of a tour of this thing? So this is the control room right here with our cool little ROV station. And then back here is our crew quarters. So this is where all of us sleep at. And we have some emergency air mass there just in case it floods for some reason and i can even hear the reactor back there oh gosh this is loud okay i need to turn that down and this is our computer's room right here with all of our um really cool advanced computer systems and this is our reactor room so this is our nuclear reactor which might explode today and then this is our grand kitchen looks very nice and then back here is our main hallway with some bathrooms and we have our captain's quarters right here this is my room right here oh yeah this is on workshop if you guys want to get it hvac room right here which we can turn on submarine wide heat and then we have the atmospheric level of all the um um, different compartments in the submarine and then we have the laboratory basically the point of this thing so we can start experiments in here and most of the time they actually go wrong but there we go now that that's at about 3000 let's put our throttle all the way to one it is up and down for your throttle and we're going to spawn a tsunami so first test here is actually going to be a uh, tsunami probably not the best test to do but why not honestly let's get this thing started um guys i see the tsunami forming already all right we're going to be seeing if this thing can actually withstand a tsunami we're leaning to the um left here a little bit so why don't we fill our bottom right ballast there just just a little more there we go oh gosh i can even see it in the periscope right here let's zoom in on it with our advanced camera oh that's definitely a tsunami right there guys this is not good we're heading straight for it oh, yep this is gonna be interesting okay so we do have our emergency flares on standby just in case we need help here but we're gonna be rising the tsunami and we're gonna completely jump over it we're actually full throttle right now these tsunamis do not play around in this game but here we go i think we're gonna rise it here any second and there we go we're starting to rise it and i'm gonna start pulling up here i'm gonna try staying on the surface for as long as i can there we go oh this thing is actually doing quite well here we go oh oh we're getting way too much air time oh oh gosh this is not good guys we are getting way too much air time for this type of vehicle oh we're gonna slam into the water boom there we go but next up we're gonna be spawning a tornado but we're gonna be seeing if my submarine can actually survive a tornado so the sky should be spinning oh it definitely is i think it's touching down directly on us let's use our bow thrusters here to um turn oh wait what's going on oh this is what the tornado is doing to us already it already flipped us what in the world is going on oh oh gosh um wait it's really bringing this thing in this thing is not really good at surviving um, winds or tornadoes. I can tell you that much. Oh, gosh. Yeah, definitely not. It's definitely trying to bring us in it. I don't think this thing can actually survive a tornado, which kind of makes sense. It's a submarine. It shouldn't. Yeah, guys, it's not looking too good. We're doing some bear rolls here. Not what a submarine is supposed to do. This is not what I was expecting to happen, to be honest, but I wasn't like not expecting it also. I want to actually go inside the tornado, though. OK, we're trying to go towards the tornado right now. I don't know if it's possible, but we're going to try to. OK, I need to dive underwater while we're doing this because there isn't really a water oh wait our reactor just exploded um that was probably because of the tornado like really messing something up okay we're spawning a tornado once again this time i think it's like directly on us oh definitely is okay we're gonna see if we can survive this is not good oh it, we're definitely right on it here we go will we be able to survive the tornado oh it's gonna touch down directly near us isn't it it's right there it's not directly on us are we even able to get directly on it okay i'm gonna throw it in reverse here to try getting really close to it i want to get inside the tornado here we go we're getting close we're getting close there all right full throttle full throttle go forward oh this is not good guys this is not good we're in like an ultimate barrel what is going on oh we're in the tornado we're trying to enter the tornado right now i'm trying to counter steer this thing is not that good at surviving a tornado clearly oh oh we're in the tornado we're in the tornado oh my gosh this thing's actually in a tornado oh um wait we're flying we're flying okay we're an airplane now that's cool i can actually control it though because of the control wait what was that um what just broke i heard something like really slam into oh oh what's going on oh that's not good guys we are having some issues in here oh it's breaking all of my stuff oh no oh gosh what is going on okay we need to activate bilge pumps immediately this is not my bilge pumps operator seat okay here we go bilge pumps oh it's just throwing me around i can't even get to it oh we're getting so many alerts in here battery warning um probably a radiation leak here in a second let's get in my bilge pump seat here just like that okay any water levels oh that is not good guys we are filling up with water insanely oh wait our ballast tanks are open what in the world oh this is not good i don't think this thing was made to survive a tornado why don't we cancel this and see if we can actually um recover this thing oh gosh oh this is not looking too good for us uh all right we need to blow the ballast right now blow the ballast here we go emergency resurface uh we're gonna turn that on in a second here we're blowing the ballast oh bottom 
right is not working and same with a couple other but we're going to be enabling all bilge pumps all bilge pumps will be turned on okay water should go down for the bilge pumps yep that is working dude our reactor completely went into detonation i think our reactor exploded hold on oh that's not good okay we need to scram the reactor scram it right now go 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 emergency shutdown initiated okay we shut down the reactor we need to get fire suppression on right now so we're going to unlock fire suppression and enable just like that all right fire suppression is putting out any fires in the engine room and we're going to turn that off so we don't waste any more water there are so many alerts going off in this thing i don't think this thing can actually um survive a tornado like at all oh this is terrible what is our radar even doing it's like going 100 different directions okay i don't even know this thing definitely failed though now we're going to be spawning a whirlpool and see if this thing can actually survive a twisty twirly in the water here so where is it actually spawning at they're definitely visible when they spawn oh i think it's all the way over there what the heck why did it spawn so far away okay we have to go over there i kind of see the water like indenting over there so we're gonna be turning full right so we're gonna activate some bow thrusters yep i definitely think that's a whirlpool guys just look at it it definitely looks like there's something going on in the water right here but we're gonna see if my submarine can actually survive this is the real question here oh gosh here we go i can already feel it kind of changing the course of my submarine oh that goes so deep wait when does it end oh that is so deep oh my gosh here we go we're in a whirlpool how deep does this go oh that goes really deep i can't even see it it just looks so weird but we're in the whirlpool right now oh that's the bottom of the ocean oh wait are we gonna hit it i think the whirlpool could go deeper it's just because we're too shallow over here um we're definitely kind of surviving but we're kind of not i mean we're, we're definitely surviving we don't have any water oh my gosh what's going on oh um wait can we outrun the whirlpool though that's a real question i'm full throttle right now wait i think we could actually outrun it hold on we're full throttle are we able to outrun the whirlpool oh it's not looking good we're really at oh i think we just escaped it wow um yeah oh what was that our reactor just went into detonation oh my gosh why does our reactor explode but we're for some reason listing right now something's going on in here i don't know what it is but something's definitely going on i don't know if we survived the whirlpool guys but we definitely don't have any water now we're going to be testing how well this thing can survive meteors okay so it's basically flying rocks so I'll spawn a meteor we just clicked one okay so we can do multiple more but we're just doing one for now oh gosh okay should we stay inside or go out there i think i'm gonna stay inside for now um i don't see any oh it's right there oh those are some big meteors here we go will we survive the meteors oh wait it's not actually that bad oh my gosh i only spawned one there's so oh that's a huge one right there oh oh my oh it just despawned my submarine okay i don't think my submarine survived that guys but it spawned tsunami that's what it did just spawn oh that is not good it looks like a big old dome Donut. oh my gosh so now we're gonna be activating nuclear meltdown mode on my submarine but we're gonna be at the bottom of the ocean so why don't we get this thing started fill all ballots we're gonna be completely diving this thing straight to the bottom we're not that deep but the crush mod is enabled so maybe we will be deep enough to actually get this thing crushed here we go we are lowering all right how much deeper can we go 70 oh we can i think the crush mod will actually crush this thing here in a second oh this is gonna be close though it's gonna be really close here we go oh we're at 100 oh we're getting crushed by the crush mod right now okay but now what we're gonna do is activate reactor meltdown so let's get a hold of our reactor control panel here what is that um reactor meltdown warning what does that even mean oh my gosh our reactor just exploded um radiation okay it's still at zero um this is not good guys there's so many alarms going off okay we need to mute all these alarms mute um water warning mute that okay there we go now peace and quiet in here okay we need to activate bilge pumps for some of these rooms okay our reactor room is being pumped out with water and same with our computer wait the computer room isn't looking too good guys hold on what's going on oh wait our battery's on fire okay activate battery fire suppression where's that at here we go battery fire suppression is on on. um it's not working either that's lovely yay battery fire suppression failed okay we don't have actually any radiation leaks so that's pretty good so let's disable fill all ballast and we're gonna blow the ballast here so it'll pump out the water as fast as it can oh it just needs to hurry up oh gosh and then we need an emergency resurface i think it already hit our thrusters but here we go emergency resurface three two one brace and here we go oh one of the thrusters aren't working oh no we need to activate bow thruster back there for that it needs to counter it oh it's not working either this is not good guys this is not good this is not good at all oh shoot will we be able to resurface here i'm trying to keep this thing stable but it's not oh it's pushing us down to the bottom because we're actually upside down this is not good oh this is not good um oh our electric's really low too okay we need to activate our emergency battery and turn this off this is not good we're gonna try activating our emergency battery connected to our main breaker here we're gonna connect it just like that all right and then we're gonna use the rest of our electric here to try getting to the surface with our throttle which um 
Oh, lovely. Doesn't even work. Oh, what are we even supposed to do in this situation? Oh, gosh. Okay, emergency resurface is being activated. This thing drains our batteries so bad. Okay, so we can't be having that on for that long of a time. We're doing a barrel roll. Okay, we can't do that. Oh, guys, I think we're stuck down here. I think we're really stuck. Oh, yeah, we're definitely... Wait, what's our depth? Um, bottom distance. Oh, my gosh. Um, I don't think that's accurate. Yeah, it's not because we're at an angle, but um, I think we are possibly rising, guys. Um, Current depth. Uh, oh, yeah, we're actually rising slowly. Oh, let's go, guys. Our blow ballast is actually working, but now that we're trying to rise here we're gonna be activating our um generator here which is probably not gonna work because it's flooded with water so yep wait it's actually working we need to get up here and use our bow thrusters to try um countering this so there we go we'll counter it just like that oh it's really not working guys we might have to use the escape pod here we do have an escape pod on this thing it's not looking too good our electric is really going down okay we need to turn on emergency lights we're wasting so much battery having these normal lights on so turn all those off and then we go up here and activate our emergency lights just like that and our battery is actually going up because of that powerful generator right there wait it kind of looks like we're gonna resurface here i don't know God. oh maybe i mean technically we did but um we can use the escape pod here so we might have to do that um guys we're going back down pretty fast oh this is not good this is not good we're filling up with water wait what are the water levels looking like this is not good why is it the reactor on scram oh we need to get the heck out of here we need to go we need to go right now our generator actually just shut off too oh wait how deep are we um current depth oh we're dropping we're gonna hit the bottom okay we need to get the heck out of here go in the escape pod close this door oh i hear our generator stalling okay uh turn on emergency power if hatch doesn't open oh we're about to slam into the bottom okay um arm launch so it should open the hatch and we should plop out just like that okay we have escaped in our escape pod and then we're gonna boost to the surface here oh yeah we just boosted pulled 400 g's and there we go we did survive but that's not all we're gonna be testing scuttle so this thing does have a scuttle button i did implement and we're gonna be testing it now so we're gonna be testing scuttle so here we go scuttle uh quote unquote sink oh gosh what is that i mean oh we have water warnings i hear the water beeping okay what's going on in here let's get my water seat here main hallway is filling up okay activate bills pumps hopefully bills pumps always work so it should go down right wait it's not going down what's going on oh we need to go down there and actually see what's going on for ourselves oh wait what's going on is that water on my floors oh it's just my auto cleansing system that's perfectly fine oh my gosh why is there a hole in my boat right here oh there's actually um water in our toilets that's actually kind of cool <laughs> um let's open these doors right here kind of spread the water throughout this because um it'll it'll work actually better if our bilge pumps um can pump it out so let's even open our reactor room there we're really listening to the left though i can even see it on this camera we're like really um horizontal here i don't know what's going on we're gonna fill our bottom right ballast to kind of even this out all right it is being filled around eight thousand. Oh, that's definitely way too much this thing's gonna even out way far to the right okay let's go ahead and mute this alarm here so mute it just like that okay we muted the alarm all right so what's going on the hvac room's filling with water um, the reactor has 10,000 liters of water in it, and it's kind of going up and kind of going down. So I don't know what's going on with that. Let's actually go and check the reactor room here. Open this door just like that. Oh, it's really flooding down there. It's probably up to my knees. Hold on, let's test it. Oh my, oh, we're swimming down here. Oh no, oh, we we want to get back up there. Okay, that's way too much water. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, we need to close these doors. Okay, our computer room's on lockdown. That room's on lockdown. We're gonna lock down the ship here, which doesn't actually close the doors. It just locks all of them so no one can go anywhere. Hold on, let's go on some are here make sure everything's okay because that should definitely help us here maybe even go on our radio equipment and start transmitting some sos wait what is that there's like a bridge in front of us and we're heading like straight in between the beams oh that's pretty nice okay we're heading straight in between them i don't know how let's go we're going straight in between them just like that that one got really close but i don't know how we just dodged that i wasn't even driving let's go this is slightly concerning see all of them go up this fast i think this is actually wait i don't know how we're still floating to be honest because our ballast tank hold on i bet if i put the throttle all the way down we will completely sink okay throttle is all the way down will we sink oh yeah that's definitely not how this thing's supposed to float yeah i don't think we're supposed to be this low guys oh this is not good this is not good at all we're filling up we just have too much water it's actually maxing out in some of these rooms here the main hallway is completely filled okay we need to unlock down the ship kind of see what's going wait we just hit the bottom oh my gosh how deep are we we are a hundred deep oh that's our crushing depth guys oh that's not good um are we getting crushed i don't think we are surprisingly okay so maybe it actually um lowered because i did do some customizations but escape pod time it might be necessary right now but we're gonna be kind of um unlocking the ship here and we're gonna see if there is water over here because i feel like they're lying to us okay oh oh my gosh i can't even go down there it's all the way up to the ceiling um yeah i don't think we're going 
going down there anytime soon, guys. Our reactor is actually still working, which is quite surprising to me. It is, yeah, it's completely working. It's generating 106% output, which is above average. But should we activate reactor meltdown right now? That would definitely help our situation out. So why don't we activate that? Oh yeah, reactor meltdown. Oh, what's going on? Reactor meltdown. Oh no, brace for impact. Get down, head down. Oh, what's going on? Oh, massive explosion. What was that? Guys, I think we're having an issue here. I'm going to mute these alarms. Um, Reactor. Oh, those are all red. Those are all of our reactor fuel rods. Okay, scram the reactor. Emergency shutdown initiated. But there is like 400 flywheels connected to the generator here, but um, it's actually not working anymore. So we're going down. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is activating all bilge pumps. We're going to blow the ballast, all the water out of that, and then we're going to emerge emergency resurface while we're at it okay so we're gonna see if this thing can actually get back up oh wait one of the thrusters are broke wait um that that doesn't look good at oh my gosh this thing just went right back down like a rock wait we're completely upside down what's going on um we just capsized what the heck is going on i don't even think our escape pod would work like this um oh gosh should we test if our escape pod would work okay we're gonna open that up we're gonna try in our escape pod here it's kind of at an angle so this is gonna be interesting okay we're open that door can i jump in a seat from here it's not letting me okay jump in a seat just like that okay get in get in a seat there we go we're in an escape pod seat okay so then we're gonna close the outside door and then inside and get in a seat right now okay we're in a seat we're gonna arm launch so it'll open the hatch here perfect it opens the hatch but it just doesn't work Work. so i think we're gonna have to actually launch ourselves out of here so three two wait is there water in here okay i don't care three two one launch okay we have just launched and oh oh gosh wait what's going on wait what oh oh no wait what we just that didn't really work wait yeah it did yeah it did perfect perfect we actually got out of there with our escape pod. i was slightly worried but now we're gonna be turning on our transponder which will activate these blinking lights and our transponder then we will be located by coast guard here in a couple hours but that's probably gonna be it for this submarine testing video let me know if you'd like to see me do some more tests on my submarine make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye